The Christmas season, the Advent season, is upon us. It is a season that brings all of our senses alive. The sense of sight, of beautiful lights and trees and decorations. The sense of hearing of Christmas bells and Christmas carols. The sense of smell and taste of an ancient fruitcake recipe from the Daughters of Charity or eggnog or grog or good wine or apples or whatever fruit, whatever things remind you of Christmas. It brings you a sense of hearing sleigh bells. We see so much, we hear so much, we taste so much, we smell all of these things. And a sixth sense is the sense of the Holy Spirit. It is another dimension that brings all of these things alive in us. This Christmas, may the noise not be so great, but may you be the sweet fragrance of Christ. May you be the aroma that is uplifting and encouraging, the aroma that brings love and joy and peace this season. May you be the smell or the scent of the fragrance like Mary broke over Jesus, a bottle of perfume, costly. preparing him for his death, his anointing, and offering a, an expensive sacrifice for him who was and is the gift of God and the most expensive and extravagant sacrifice, the only one who gave it all for us. That this Christmas we might remember the reason for the season that is Christ in us, the hope of glory, the hope to live on a sweet life, even though it may overflow at times with difficulties that we can see and smell and feel. Yet, may we spread the sweet fragrance, even overflow with it, even in our trials, in our joys, at all times. Let us overflow with Christmas. Let the cinnamon and spice, let the smoke from the fireplace, let it all just go upwards to God as a sweet prayer that he might hear and respond with the gift beyond our wildest dreams. For in him we can do immeasurably more than we could ask or ever imagine, and we receive it. Have you received it? Receive it this Christmas. Amen.